Greetings, everyone. Hi, hello. On behalf of Paul Hippo, it is my utmost pleasure mm -hmm. to welcome you all in today's session. I hope you all are doing well and uh, staying safe in these tough times. In today's webinar, we will be discussing the benefits of integrating telephony systems with CRM. Now, before beginning with that, I would like to give a quick introduction about ourselves. I will be your presenter for the evening. My name is Sakshi and I am the content marketing manager here at Paul Hippo. Our speaker for the evening would be Mr. Pradeek Pandya, who is heading the growth at Call Hippo. Um, for the people who are joining us today, please feel free to ask your questions in the Q&A section. And in the last 10 minutes of the webinar, we will be taking up your queries. For the questions that would be beyond the relevance of today's topic, we will uh, be getting back to you via email shortly after this webinar. Before we begin, I would like to take you guys through uh, the agenda that we have for the webinar today. Uh, for a quick overview, we'd be covering the following points in today's session. We'd begin with, uh, with discussing uh, the business phone system, CRN and integration. Thereafter, we'd be following it up with the benefits of integrating telephony with CRN. And we would be concluding our session today by discussing how Call Hippo can ensure a seamless workflow. Now, before we move forward, I would just like to take you guys through some interesting statistics and market background to give you an overview of our industry and where we come from. Um, the family of corporate cloud telephony system um, has a strength of over 204.8 billion members as in the year 2020 with a compound annual growth rate of over 12%. Um, the global market size of the industry uh, is projected to reach a whooping $55 billion by the end of the year 2025. By helping teams save 32 call minutes a day, cloud telephony systems uh, can trim down the initial costs um, of businesses by up to 90%. Um, now, I would just like to take you all through um, our journey at Call Hippo. So, we at Call Hippo uh, realize the massive potential that is held by this uh, technology and thereby easing the lives of the businesses. Um, we stepped into this arena with this intention in the year 2017 to bridge the gap between businesses and their telephony needs. Uh, to give you all a little bit of brief of uh, Call Hippo, um, we are an on-demand uh, cloud telephony system. We allow startups and businesses alike to buy instant local support numbers from over 50 countries. Our easy to use interface and robust backend architecture empowers businesses in setting up their call center in under three minutes. At Call Hippo, our major aim is to replace um, desk phones with soft phones, thereby eliminating any complexities pertaining to setting up a support system. Now I will pass the baton of this webinar to our speaker, Pratik, who will be taking you all through the intricacies of business telephony, CRM, and the benefits of integrating both of them. Thank you. Hi guys, uh, can you see my screen? Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you guys are able to see my screen. <clears throat> so first of all, thank you for joining today. Uh, and uh, we'll, so uh, I, I, I was talking, so we came in a little earlier and let me start with the story, right? So I was talking to Mr. Ali, uh, he's one of our customers who's joined us today. And uh, 
only then I realized that that we have customers who want us to who wanted to integrate, but uh, probably they did not know that we integrate with so many others. Uh, software is there, right? Uh, CRMs is just a category, but at Call Hippo, we integrate with even like your customer support software, uh, your lead scoring software, your lead gen software. So all, um, you know, uh, there's, there's like close to 100 plus softwares that we are able to integrate with. Uh, so, yep, uh, at least we know that there's one person today who's going to go back happy and uh, we're going to help him integrate with Zendesk and uh, HubSpot both uh, post this call. Uh, so during this chat, if you have any questions, feel free to, you know, ask us over here. We will be able to, uh, answer, we'll, we'll try and take them after this quick chat. Uh, also, uh, if you are a customer and if you have a tool that you would want us to integrate with, or you have questions, whether we integrate with something, uh, let us know. Only yesterday I was reading that, uh, the, in, in the Forbes magazine that, uh, close to 30, uh, close to 70% of companies that are, that have adopted technology in the last five years, uh, works with at least three SaaS products today. Uh, and that's where this whole, uh, so, you know, I'm not going to, I know we're going to talk about CRMs and call Hippo, but then I'm not going to, uh, stop at CRMs, but we're going to talk mainly about why you should be integrating. If you're using, if, if you're doing well, and if you're using three different softwares, uh, why you should be integrating all of them. Yeah. Uh, so, yep. Uh, like what Sakshi said, uh, also thank you so much Sakshi for the introduction. Uh, what we, we are a business phone system. We've been there in business for five years now. Uh, we have 5,000 plus customers from around the world. Uh, and uh, I think, so these are some of the reasons why, you know, some of our customers like us, uh, I'm not going to go in depth about call hippo right now, because it's just not about us. It's business phone systems and, uh, the CRM, right. Uh, so we are all also using CRM, uh, softwares, right. And, uh, the idea behind CRM is because before we were all, uh, before there were companies that were using Excel and spreadsheets. Uh, to manage data of their customers, whether the money had come in, whether the sign up when when the sign up had come in, and and it was just it it uh, it was a very very lengthy process uh, to keep a track, and uh, so then the CRM system started uh, coming in play. Uh, now this CRM as a market is huge. Uh, there are a lot of players there, and um, now from on on-prem CRM, we've now moved to CRMs that are on cloud CRMs that could be set up in less than like five minutes. And uh, all your customer uh, information is pulled in, all your prospects come in, uh, whether, and again, now whether you're doing inbound sales or outbound sales, or even just a good CRM software to keep track of who your customers are. And uh, you know, whether they are happy when their next payment is, what, what channel they came from, et cetera. Um, that a good starting point for you as a business would to, would be to invest. And honestly, they're not that expensive now, uh, would be, uh, to invest in a good CRM software. If you're not already doing it. Right. So, uh, obviously, so here's how a CRM can future proof your business. Uh, so, you know, uh, and, and I would not, so I, we, we know that we are all going through the pandemic, but then I would not limit to the pandemic. I think even before the pandemic. Uh, uh, CRMs are very handy. You don't need on-prem. You could be working from anywhere and you could access your customer data on the go, on the fly, right? You could, you could, you could automate. So I remember in, in close to two, 2000, uh, in 2013, uh, we had uh, sales teams all over. Uh, so we had sales teams in India, Australia, and in North America. And uh, we were able to assign leads depending on the region the leads were coming from and assign it to the people uh, in the specific region. So again, you can complete, completely automate and you don't need a single person to actually check uh, where the lead is coming from and assign it to the right team. You can automate, uh, you can automate the complete workflow around it. Um, and then obviously uh, CRMs give you a lot of context, right? So, uh, so for an example, uh, you know, let's say uh, Jayesh from my team is working on a lead he, uh, he's, 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 he's gone. He's not, a, he's not well, he's gone on a sick leave. And then four days later, if his customer is going to come, uh, asking for help, a quick look at the CRM will give us all the context of, you know, who the customer is, why did he purchase, what his use case was and what challenges possibly the customer could be facing. And it will become much easier to manage, uh, uh, the customer, right? So obviously, 
uh, we are able to give much better ca customer experience with CRMs. And uh, now AI powered CRMs, obviously with lead scoring that tells you that, hey, when you, so now this is in a scenario where you have power sales team, where you get more than 200 leads a day. Uh, and you want to, you want to, you want your sales folks to be calling the best leads at the start of the day or at the right time of the day. Uh, and that is where now the AI based, AI based lead scoring comes in. I'm I'm sure uh, most of the guys that we we have today have used CRMs, but uh, this is for folks who've not, and uh, hopefully this will nudge them to start looking at a few CRMs, right? So obviously, uh, potential drawbacks. Uh, so with with everything good around it, there are there are a few uh, concerns that come up. But then again, this is taken care, and this, these are a few things. So the only reason we put this is so that it helps you uh, with better decision making. Right. Uh, so personally, we use HubSpot, and we know that they're they're, they're taken care of uh, when it, we're taken care of when it comes to security. Uh, uh, and and then the, there is a, there is a cost when you're setting it up, right? So there's time, and uh, you know where, where where there is a learning curve that your team has to go through. Uh, but once we're all set up, I think it's negligible. And uh, onboarding new team members after the initial setup is done is pretty easier, right? And uh, also at the end of the day, right? Uh, whether you are customer support or sales, uh, too much context is also going to like. So you know, uh, when you get the context, uh, you you start. You know, it's human nature to tend to become robotic and just help him and get done with it. And you get, you know, so CRM gives you the context, but then uh, there have been cases where we've not been, uh, you know. Uh, the sales folks or the customer support folks uh, in general are, uh, you know, uh, not able to use the context well and make the experience better, right? So this is these are just a few uh, that you should be able to. So so the point here is with the last one is that uh, always invest in a CRM or I would even say a software that your team loves using. Uh, don't force a product or a software that your team might not enjoy. At the end of the day, you as a decision maker are not going to be using it every day. Uh, you're just going to be probably paying for it or looking at the data once in a week. Uh, it it has to be the team that is uh, using it, and there should be a tool that they want to uh, log into at the start of the day every day. Yep. So obviously uh, now uh, integrations, and this is what uh, this is what the Forbes article was talking about too, right? That seventy percent of uh, Companies that have adopted technology are now uh, having at least three tools, three SaaS products that they're uh, they're, they're using currently, uh, and that's at least right. There are that, so we personally are using at least six tools internally, and uh, the at the heart of it, it is to make sure that the customer experience is better. There's better productivity, and uh, one of the ways we are able to do that is to make sure that all our tools are talking with each other. Right, uh, you want the data flow to be there from one tool to the other, and that is where uh, integrations come into play. Right, so whether it's your customer support software uh, or your CRM software or even your lead gen, right? Uh, we also have customers that use Zoho Analytics with us, uh, and that they use for business intelligence. Right, uh, so even your BizOps guys who want to see data of how many calls were made and stuff, uh, we integrate with Zoho Analytics as well. So at the end of the day, uh, when you're when you know when you when you're sitting and you know uh, looking top down, you should be able to uh, get the same data from all these places, uh, and they should be all talking to each other. Uh, CRM cl and uh, cloud telephony integration, right? So now we'll deep dive into what this whole talk is about today. Uh, so at Call Hippo, uh, we integrate with like I think uh, forty plus. Uh, well-known CRMs. Uh, so like I said earlier, right, there is the CRM market is huge. There are a lot of good CRMs out there and there are a lot of small, there are a lot of big and then a lot of enterprise CRMs there too, right? Uh, and we integrate with most of them. And uh, now why call hippos, uh, why would, why, so first question first, right? So why would you want to integrate your CRM with call hippo, right? Uh, so your call team, your your calling teams uh, using Call Hippo, your sales teams using Call Hippo, your customer support teams using Call Hippo to get in touch with customers and help them. Uh, 
and they are actually looking at the CRM at the same time. Um, so they are copy they are copying the number from the CRM. They are pasting it in the call report dialer. They are making a call. Then they are going back and adding notes into the CRM, right? Sometimes they forget that they have to add notes. Sometimes they forget that they have to create a deal. Uh, sometimes they forget that they have to say that they 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 have left a voicemail, right? Or the call did not get connected, and 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 so on, right? So it's extremely uh, it's extremely manual, and it is it does take it it does take a lot of time, and and it, at the end of the day it leaves a scope for a lot of human error, right? That's where our call repo uh, integration with the CRM comes in. Uh, so uh, if for an example, like what I was talking to Mr. Ali today, he was using HubSpot and we internally use HubSpot as well. So if I have somebody from my sales team actually using, uh, you know, somebody making a call, you can, it's, it's click to call. So you don't need to toggle between windows. You can actually just call from within your CRM. The outcome of the call, the call recording, all of that information is pushed into the CRM directly, right? You don't, you don't, your sales guys can just concentrate on making calls and closing deals and they do not, and, and trust me, I've been doing sales for more than 15 years. I know that, you know, we, there's one thing that we hate the most is data entry. Uh, and, and this, this is one thing that uh, is just one, this just solves that one part of the puzzle where, you know, every call that you're making, you don't have to add a note for it or even, uh, you know, manually go and say that the call was not connected. So benefits, obviously, there's the first one that we just spoke about, right? Uh, custom reporting and uh, this we've seen a lot of our customers use, right? Um, so before earlier, what would happen is that, uh, you know, uh, you, you as an organization would actually look at multiple tools for reporting. So if you want to pull reports on how many leads were touched, how many calls were made, um, you know, how many, how many, how many leads were in your first attempt, or you know where where your customers came in from, you would pull a report from HubSpot. Then if you want to pull a report on how many calls were made, who made so many, uh, you know, uh, who was your best caller, which, uh, you know, uh, which uh, which sales guy got, uh, you know, did not get that many good leads, and most of his calls were rejected, etc. Right? Or who spoke the longest? Who spoke the shortest? All of that information, you would go and pull from Call Hippo. Now, but when you integrate. Right, so now you you spend half your day in pulling reports from Call Hippo, then you spend half or one or one full day in pulling your reports from HubSpot. But now with the integration, you can pull in your reports from either HubSpot or Call Hippo, and you would still get the same data. Right, you don't have to toggle between tools and do the same drill all over again. Right, um, click to call. I I just spoke about it. Uh, you don't have to actually copy paste the number. You can actually uh, just <clears throat> Click on the number that's there in your CRM. The call hippo dialer opens up. Have a good chat, close the deal, and 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 shut it off. And automatically, all the data, all even the call recording, gets pushed into the CRM. Benefits of integrating telephony systems with CRM. The part two. So over here, right? So activity sync. Like I said, that the data push is there from both sides. So even if there is a customer that uh, is not, even if there's a prospect that's not in your CRM, you have a call at the and uh, you know, and you get an incoming call. Uh, you can you can you can choose to you can choose that you can choose to add that as a contact, and automatically all the contact details get updated into your CRM. So you don't have to do a manual entry, right? Um, agent productivity. We spoke about it, where a lot of time is saved. And uh, you know, save from doing manual work. They're actually able to make more calls. Uh, we also have uh, so I don't know how many of you are using it already, but we have auto dialers or power dialers. And uh, with that, we make sure that you know our uh, agents are able to make X number of calls. They can con concentrate on calling and closing deals. Uh, and uh, all the data around those calls are pushed into the CRM, di CRM directly. And you don't have to keep me. So a good. So another quick stat, guys. Uh, in your outbound process, if you're doing outbound, a good stat uh, that I would like to share with all of you is that at least 80 calls a day, right? A, uh, so your SDRs, your outbound team should be making 80 calls a day. Uh, and when they're making those 80 calls, 
uh, they could be making all those 80 calls from their CRM. They have all the context right in front of them and they do not need to, you know, spend time switching between tools. So now I've made a call. Uh, the call did not get connected. I can drop a message and, and that I can do using call hippo again from the same, some, within the same dialer that opens up. I have an ability to send a text as well saying them that, Hey, I tried to reach you. I think you were busy. Let me know when's a good time. And, uh, now this, that text actually, we, we've internally seen a lot of success. Uh, so whenever we get, we, we, we're not able to connect with a, a prospect, we drop them a text and, uh, maybe a few hours down the line, we do get replies and we are able to take it from there. So, uh, so we spoke about never get out of context and even your marketing team, right? So, uh, and then and, and guys, this is something that's, uh, that I've seen uh, as a sales leader. I've seen this very closely that you're, uh, um, you know, you have to give feedback. And uh, so we, when you when uh, feedback to the marketing team on the leads that you're getting uh, since they are trying different channels. Right. And uh, uh, even if your marketing team is, uh, you know, using paid channels to get leads and they want to know exactly what was spoken on the call and uh, what happened, I think, uh, they should be able to pull in all the information regarding those calls as well, directly from the CRM, right? So then giving feedbacks becomes easier. Um, so like I said earlier in the call that uh, we will be able to integrate with tools, uh, sorry. So uh, like what I said earlier is that we do call recording as well. So you're making calls and you're uh, recording your, uh, you know, you're recording these calls. So it's easier for you to give feedback, go back, uh, listen to the calls, listen to the calls of your most successful sales folks, listen to the calls of your most successful support folks and see what they're doing. Right. And then educate the rest of the team as well. Right. Uh, we also spoke about supercharging your uh, sales with the power dialer. So with the power dialer, uh, what you could do is actually uh, call multiple uh, people at the same time. You could, you could put a list, and uh, now we are, we, are, we are going to the next level that we are actually able, now what we're building on is something really cool where we are able to select all the contacts from the CRM that you want to put in the list as a power, into a power dialer. And uh, the power dialer will start firing calls and whatever the conversation is that gets pushed, even, even, even the call status gets pushed into the CRM, right? So even if it's a call that's not connected, your sales guys don't have to go back to change the call status in your CRM, it gets updated on its own. So like I said, so uh, we integrate with more than 85 plus apps. Uh, you know, uh, I think honestly, uh, we have another 40 in beta right now, right? And these are some of the CRMs that we work with. Uh, so if you have questions around the CRM that you want to integrate with, or if you have a tool that you use right now and you're not integrating with, let us know, we would be able to help you with it. So uh, let's. So how does integrated telephony work with CRM, right? So uh, like I said, that at the end of the day, uh, we'll not make you. So our, our CRMs are. Uh, uh, it's 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 it just clicks, right? It's it's no code, no code integrations where you don't have to code a lot, uh, code at all. Uh, it's just a few clicks where you enter your username and password per se, uh, per se in PipeDrive. Do it the same in Call Hippo, and and the data starts. Uh, pushing right so uh, if you if you if you ever thought that hey i'm not i, I don't know if i'll be able to integrate uh, my crm with call hippo or with any other product uh, because i have to code uh, i think that's not true um, all you need to do is uh, get get the admin account for your crm and get the admin account for your call hippo follow the steps on our guide and we should be able to take it from there So, uh, like I said, right at this very start, and I think this is uh, probably the last slide again, we are ending with this. Uh, we've been in business for five years now. We are multi-product, right? So we have the business phone system where uh, we have around 5,000 customers from around the world using us. And uh, uh, so we could, we could obviously do another webinar and deep dive on some of the features that you would you know, let us also know in the comment section or the questions, or even just reply to the email where you uh, joined this webinar for on what you would like to talk 
uh, what you would like us to talk about next, what feature that you would like uh, us to talk about next, and we'd be happy to do that. So, guys, here's an update, right? So we've been working with uh, 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 around other ideas that we could make our product stronger. And these are the three things that we've just come up with over the last six months. So Call Hippo Coach is your speech to text software and uh, it helps you give great feedback to your customers. Yeah, uh, uh, sorry, give great feedback to your employees, to your sales team and to your support team. Let you can, so uh, it's, it's an alternative to your gong. Uh, where you're able to give real-time feedback, you know exactly why your sales guys, with why your best sales guy is performing the way he is, and then um, you know train your other folks as well. So it's around the call QA, right? Uh, so call tracking. Also, somewhere we spoke about giving feedback to the marketing team. So obviously, as a marketing team, you're going to be using uh, call hippo uh, numbers and giving the numbers that are connected with call uh, related with call hippo in different campaigns and you want to know what campaigns of yours are working and what campaigns are not uh, so we are now actually having the call tracking uh, functionality as well where and, and let us know if you want us to talk more in detail on that or you want us to you want us to do a demo with you on either on call hippo coach or call tracking and then voice broadcast i think uh, uh, we we had sent out a note around voice broadcast last uh, last month. I hope you guys got a chance to go through it and read through it. Uh, again, uh, a little about Call Hippo. So the features that we have. So uh, we've spoken about the power dialer. We have Smart Switch. So that that works like your. And I'm sure if you if you're already a Call Hippo user, that's one thing that you're using regularly uh, because it saves you a lot of time and it gets you better connects. Uh, global connect now if you have teams uh, and i'm this so i'm sure these are the features that we we have here are something that you should be already using if you're a call hippo customer uh, and if you're not uh, so smart switch guys is uh, we work with multiple carriers right so unlike a competition we work with like five different carriers and uh, which allows us to make sure that you know we are able to get better connects and even in countries where the calling is uh, you know, bank. Uh, so, so some some carriers allow calling to a few countries and some don't. Uh, with Call Hippo, we don't have a problem around that because then you can just toggle a switch and you're able to, you know, uh, make calls. Global Connect. So, if you're sitting out of India like we are right now, and I have to call somebody, let's say in Massachusetts, I want to know exactly when is the right time to call uh, because I don't want to wake them up, or you know, I don't want to get them during the lunch time. And the Global Connect actually tells me exactly what time it is. And uh, we're even ramping that up. We're even bringing in like uh, news and updates about what's happening in that country, right? The region, the city that, they, that we're calling in. Uh, call queuing. So obviously, uh, again, if you have a team using, if, you're, if you have a team and you're using call hippo, you would be using call queuing as well. Call barging and call whispering, right? Again, great features or uh, uh, you know, uh, great tools to train your folks, right? If you're a com if you're a team that's growing rapidly, I'm sure you guys are already using it, and you know, probably I don't need to go in depth on that, right? Uh, I mean, uh, so the last thing that I probably would want to talk about on this is SDAP, right? So it's a patent pending technology where. Uh, with really like and and this is important now because we are all working from home and then you have teams that don't have stable internet, uh, and and we 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 what we decided was to you know uh, get the ability to make sure the call quality does not get affected with changes in network and it's patent pending and we've called it the SDAP, right? So even if your internet's not really very stable or uh, um, you know, if you're not getting great speeds, your calling will still continue, right? Also, I think uh, what we've missed here is uh, we do have mobile apps, your Android and iOS apps, uh, our desktop apps that, that's for Windows and Mac as well. So feel free to, you know, uh, use our apps as well. If you don't, if you have questions around them, we have 24-7 support. Uh, you can ask us on our website. We have chat support and then even from your dashboard. Right. So uh, if you're new to Call Hippo and you've just joined us to understand what we guys are doing, uh, we would be happy to talk to you. Uh, we do have a free demo. We act, that demo is actually a free trial. That's seven days trial. 
talk to us drop us an email um you know um, you you would have seen our invite we'll drop you an email right after this call as well after this webinar and let us know if you'd be interested in seeing a quick trial uh we'll help you set up even your integrations we have a team that's able to do it right now for you so we'd be happy to do it uh set you guys up and then play around with the tool yeah so thank you so much guys i'm going to stop sharing my screen and then let's see if we let's see if you have some questions so yeah so there are questions yeah so uh, i think uh, so in in no particular order uh, order uh, hi kaval it's pratik uh, can i unmute you you want to talk or so kaval is asking shrishti or oh, sorry uh, sakshi can you uh, unmute kaval sure pratik i just do that yeah so kaval is asking can we build the idr tree in this tool so kaval uh, the answer is yes uh, and uh, obviously we will be able to do it or we'll be happy to talk to you about it uh, offline so kamal are you a question uh, are you a customer with us already oh no not right now so oh. yeah. so basically my my we will build a talk in detail one one on one so my my thing is how can we integrate with the existing telephony systems right once we put your system and because there we already have the idr in place so it's good to know that you also have that this thing so how do we mesh up the two uh, the two technologies there the two sure. apps there. yeah sure kavil and and uh, kavil uh, i also uh, see you have a question around so obviously we do have the ivr tree and we would be uh, happy to give you a demo maybe like tomorrow maybe we can connect right after this call somebody from the team will get in touch with you you've sure. also asked us a question around uh, whatsapp uh, for business uh, so is that like, do you guys use whatsapp for business Yeah, that's correct. So basically, that's coming from a space where we are working on this building a multi-channel, omni-channel kind of platform. So correct. that's where uh, many guys just wanted to know in case uh, we leverage this whole thing, your product. So what all channels uh, you support up front, right? Sure. So from an omni-channel point of view, I think that's a great question, Kabul. Uh, we are bringing out WhatsApp for business integration. Uh, we have questions. Uh, we have customers who asked for it. and uh, i think it's in the mix we are looking at probably june end by the time it's out okay yeah sure thanks sure thank you kaval thank you for joining us as well uh, sumit uh, you have a question uh, do you have a connected with leads quite crm yes we do and it's a native integration sumit so sumit uh, i am going to try and unmute you hey sumit are you customer with us Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, so much I can. Okay, okay. Yeah, we are actually your customer from almost uh, six to eight months now. All right. And we are actually trying to move to, uh, to a different CRM. So right now it's not connected to our CRM. Okay. And, uh, so we just wanted to know that how can we do a connection with our new CRM that uh, leads oh, square. Sure, sure, sure. So much. So, uh, uh, so much. Can I? So you know, can you please put it in a personal chat? to me on uh, what's your email uh, you know since you're already a customer drop us your email id we'll get in touch with you and also you know a good uh, i have an update for you uh, mm -hmm. from a lead squared crm point of view i'll be also able to give you a discount we're working with them we're partnering with them uh, so you will enjoy a discount right okay. uh, let's already actually bought that so perfect yeah yeah great Wait, wait. So yeah, so then it's it's just a matter of fifteen twenty minutes to set it all up. I mean, the integration okay. doesn't even take twenty minutes. Okay. So no coding or anything like that is no, required. No, right? no, no, nothing. Okay. It's okay. it's it's very simple, extremely simple, honestly. Okay. Okay. It's uh, uh yeah actually someone uh, from your team, Samir or someone actually sent out an email some time back uh, yeah. about uh, uh, the connection, but we couldn't connect after that. So sure. if we can ask, mm -hmm. if we can ask him if we can connect sometime tomorrow, that will be great. If it's sure. possible. Sure. Let's do that. Let's do okay. that. So Amir is your customer success manager. Uh, yeah. Uh, I will drop him a note tonight, okay. uh, and he will get in touch with you. Uh, so you guys work in the US shift or in the India shift? Uh, it's uh, more or less uh, India shift. Yeah. All right. So then I'll ask him to get in touch with you tomorrow morning. and then morning in this afternoon would be great morning i have few calls 
Sure, he'll drop your mail, and then you can mm. you can you can block the time on his calendar. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so okay. much. Okay. Thank you. Um, any other questions, guys? So, Thank you, Pratik, for the insightful session. Uh, I believe there's one question in the Q&A section as well. You, you may take up that one too. Okay, let me take it. Okay, so I think it was answered, right? Uh, do you have a connector with LeadSquare CRM? I think, um, uh, yeah, so I think that's answered. So guys, um, HubSpot, LeadSquare, Zoho, Zendesk, uh, Freshworks, I mean, uh, Sugar CRM, No CRM, Ammo CRM, uh, I can go on. Uh, the list is long. Uh, we integrate with almost all of them. And again, all of them are no code. Uh, we can set them up in less than 15, you know, 15 minutes is just an exaggeration. It doesn't even take that long. And uh, we do have 24 seven customer support. So we should be able to do that with you live on screen share. Uh, any other questions, guys? All right, so uh, I am assuming that there are no other questions. And uh, I would like to thank all of you again for joining the session today. Uh, for folks that we've asked, uh, we're going to be reaching out to you. We will. Uh, Ali, we'll, we'll, Ali, so you're in California, right? Uh, sunny California. We'll try getting it all set up today if possible. Will you, would, would you want to do it today? Your integrations all set up? Sure. Yeah, perfect. So we'll have somebody from the team get in touch with you and uh, set up both your Zendesk and your HubSpot integration. Thank you so much for joining, guys. Uh, it was great talking to all of you. Uh, like I said, we would be happy to do more of these sessions. Uh, let us know, obviously, on what you would want us to talk on, and we'd be happy to do it. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good one. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Thank you, Pratik. This was truly a learning experience for all of us, and I hope that all our attendees enjoyed it as much as we like presenting it. Have a great rest of the evening, guys. Thank you so much, and stay safe. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye.